everyone so today is friday 22nd december and it is currently 1 34 pm and this is my to-do list for today right now i will start off with mathematics a chapter statistics i'll do it for one hour 30 minutes so this timer will end at 3.04 pm so yeah let's start off with mathematics so here I was doing the second exercise of the chapter statistics from the NCERT and as I've already mentioned earlier my weak point is the calculation and I was doing the same mistake here. And by the way I will give statistics two more days basically Saturday and Sunday. After that I will start revising another chapter because I don't have much time left. I have to do everything as quickly as possible because the pre-boards are almost here and it's maths so I have to solve sample papers also so that is why I will try my best to solve statistics till Sunday and then I will start revising the chapter areas related to circles by the way my winter vacations have begun and they'll end on 9th January and from 11th January onwards we have our pre-boards with no gaps in between so I'm not really scared about any subject other than mathematics because I don't know something or the other just always goes wrong in the examination hall and I don't want it to happen again this year. The way this is going to be my second pre-board because my first pre-board has been conducted already. It is currently 3.04 and right now I'm done with my math work for today. So I will take a break of 15 minutes now. So this timer will end at 3.19 p.m. So from 3.19 onwards, I will start revising SST, most probably the chapter Agriculture. So it is currently 3.24 and right now I will start revising the chapter Agriculture from Geography. That is my... So let's place the timer of 1 hour 30 minutes. This timer will end at 4.54 p.m. So yeah, let's start studying. So here I was doing the chapter Agriculture from Geography and this will be my last chapter which I have left for revision after that I can start solving the sample papers but alongside geography I also revised history because it's been a while since I have read history so that is why I revised history once again and let's see from Sunday or Monday I will start solving the sample papers of SST so I'm quite excited for that honestly so while reading the textbook, I was also referring to the notes that I have made because I've made them point wise and it is actually very easy to memorize things when they are written point wise rather than when they are just written all together. So yeah, I was also referring to my notes. By the way, let me tell you something. I actually hadn't told about my YouTube channel to anyone other than my parents, my brother, my aunt, uncle and my cousin brother. Like no one else knew about it in my family or in my school like in my school no one even had an idea about it like i kept it as a secret not even my best friends knew about it and there's also this thing that our classes are over we will not be able to attend the classes of 10th grade anymore and it's kind of sad i don't know why like so I was reading history in a very loud manner and I was explaining it to the pen stand in front of me. And honestly, this technique is actually very helpful in memorization. Like in history, I know we are supposed to memorize the dates and events. But other than that, there are also a few concepts which we need to understand. So this technique actually helps a lot. And I am done with my geography work for today. So I was currently revising the history basically. So I have revised uh, up to this much portion and then I have to revise the rest of the notes. Okay, once I'm done with this, I will start revising the uh, rest of the chapters again. Basically, history is a little complex. Like history has a lot of information and everything. So that's why I'm just revising my notes once again. So right now I'll not place any timer. I'll take a long break. After that, I'll come back and I'll start studying history again. So before moving into today's video, I wanted to talk about this book by Physics Fala, which contains the past 10 years soft papers and you have been seeing me use this book since the past few days and I am personally loving it. It contains the question papers from the year 2014 to 23 of both Delhi and outside Delhi in the subject maths, English, science and social science. Now let's see what the contents of this book are. 
So here you can see the contents of the book. It contains the subjects English, Social Science, Mathematics Standard and Science in an arranged format. So this is the question paper of Dili, the subject Social Science from the year 2020. And here you can see that in some questions, it is marked as OS and OS means those questions which are outside the syllabus, which are not included in the syllabus of 2023 to 24. So this actually helps us in differentiating between what we are supposed to read and what we aren't. Once one question paper ends, the answers are provided on the next page itself, which is actually very convenient. And it is also very helpful for you to check whether your answers are correct or not and what information you can include in your answers to make it look better. And the explanations are in full detail, so you'll get a full idea about the answer. So this book is a 10 on 10 from my side. If you want to buy it too, you can get the link in the description box. It's currently 9.28 p.m. And I know it's very late because I had actually gone outside for some work. So yeah, and right now I will continue with my study session. I'll start studying history and practicing the PYQs as of now. So yeah, let's uh, continue with our work and I'll not place any timer because it's already very late. So let's see, I will try to complete all the work in just one study session as soon as I can. And if I lose focus, then I will take a 10 minutes break. And if I don't, then I won't. Let's start. So from the chapter print culture, I was weak at the section of international history, like the history of Europe, China, Japan, etc etc but i was good at the indian history so i only revised the indian sorry international history again especially the gutenberg wala portion because that's kind of important and also the french revolution wala part so i revised that chapter thoroughly again from my notes and once i was done with the chapter print revolution i started solving the pyqs so now let me give you a quick life update basically my friends did not know about my YouTube channel at all. Only my parents, my brother, my cousin and my uncle and aunt knew about it. But a month or two back, my best friend got to know about it from her shorts feed. Like, can you believe it? I did not even tell my best friend about my YouTube channel. And then today, uh, my close friends also got to know about it from someone else. And that someone else got to know about my YouTube channel from their feed only. So, yeah, quite a lot of students know about it right now. But I just don't want to spread the word because there are chances that the teachers would also get to know about it. And I don't want the teachers to know about it at all because that would be a really awkward situation for me. Especially if my class teacher gets to know, then I'd be dead of embarrassment. So, yeah, I, I know that it had to happen someday, but I just don't want it to happen right now. And in my family, no one knows about it other than the members that I've already told you about. So, it's still a secret. Late right now, and I am done with my SST and history work for today. Basically, I'm done with uh, history. Also comes under SST only, but you got the point, right? So yeah, I'm done with all my tasks for today. I hope you liked today's video, and if you did, then do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Yeah, that was it for today's video. I'll see you in my next video very soon. Yeah, bye.